Messi shot. Second four of the morning. Watch this very carefully. Probacca bowling an in-swinger, round about middle stump, and it's whipped away through the leg side. The slope helping the batsman whip it away. But instead of it in at mid-on, Graham Gooch knows it's coming in further and further onto his legs, and he just whips it away down that slope. That's a fine shot. Nobody need run for that except the fielder. It's Gooch into double figures. Just 900s, 3150s. Down the slope. Isn't running all that quickly, but quickly enough. Four more. And that looks as though it's just gone past extra cover. Well, Gooch looking in good form this morning. He's not missed anything that's been pitched up. So he doesn't move that front foot a long way when he drives, but he keeps the arms and hands going through on the shot. And that's the important thing to keep the bat going on the line. Super shot. Very fast outfield. That's up the hill to square cover. But the ball, I think, a little wide over pitched, and Graham Gooch is in tremendous form. Still quite. Didn't quite get to the pitch of the ball. He was uh, stationary when he made that shot. Oh dear. Sanjeev Sharma has not had the best of luck in test matches and here he gets an edge and uh, Mori has dropped <coughs> the simplest of catches. Poor Sanjeev Sharma who's been striving to make a permanent place in the Indian team. Here he has the England captain edging the ball, but Kiran Murray was not obliging. Lovely shot. Footwork good to get him there, and the execution of the shot perfect. Yes, Gooch has tried to do this once or twice to uh, Shastri without quite getting there and hitting it properly. On this occasion, he got there beautifully, feet down the wicket and right to the pitch, and a lovely follow through. Oh, well, this time he knew what was going on and where it was going to. Six runs. Terrific shot. Shortish boundary, or the shorter boundary. Only a short arm jab. Well, it's rather a surprising shot there from Graham Gooch. He didn't quite get there. He hit that with a bit of a cross bat and uh, not the kind of shot that you'd expect Gooch to play a test match at this stage of the match. In middle hitting it was six runs. And gets him to 50. Might be four more. It's 15 off the over. Will certainly make Azruddin and in India think. Gooch coming out to dominate. And again, that was a good shot. A lovely follow through. It's perfectly balanced there. A couple of dev. Oh. <laughs> he really is in terrific form. Oh, that's a beautiful stroke. He's looked great since lunch with Gooch. Not quite getting to it with the foot, but uh, good follow through. Arms and hands going in a lovely position right through on the ball. It's a lovely shot. Taking off the stumps, but it's a flick of the wrists. Speeding away to the nursery end boundary. That finds the gap. The offside there is well loaded with fielders and cover was square, but that still got through between point and the deep gully. Fine shot there by Gooch, waiting for it to come on and then cracking it away. 
That's on the short boundary, and it's going down the hill. It's terrible, terrible to be chasing one of those because the faster you run, the quicker the ball gets away from you. I just got the impression uh, today, Jeff, that Graham Gooch was waiting for the ball a little more. He seemed to be playing his strokes a bit later than usual. Perhaps uh, even a bit more risky. When he plays well, he does wait for it later. He doesn't get into the shot too soon. And you see here, he just waits and waits, lets the ball come, and a lovely back foot shot. That could be it. No doubt it is it. What a nice way to bring up your 100. Played some lovely strokes today, Graham Gooch. Although he was put down at 36, I'd rate that as one of the very best test match innings I've seen him play. Well, yes, that was four. As soon as it left the bowler's hand, he was in position very quickly, clipped it away firmly, positively, very confidently, and he knew when he set off to run that there was really no need. It was going to the boundary. Just as well, he's uh, only 17 years of age. Otherwise, uh, young Tendulkar would be puffing a little as he came back from uh, two such chases. There he goes. Seventeenth boundary for Gooch. Yes, I think uh, Gooch has been in as good a form today. We've seen him for quite a long time. He's been very positive, and he's come in, put him back to ball from the word go. He had that little bit of luck, and he was dropped. But uh, he has played some good shots. That's a lovely shot. Just leaned into that. The problems are mounting for India. Well, another fine piece of timing by Gooch. Really has been in prime condition. Not trying to hit it excessively hard, just a nudge of that heavy bat, and away it goes for four more. It's a very flat pitch and uh, a very hard ground. Considering the fact that the Indians very seldom get the opportunity to dive or to learn how to dive because of the state of the Maidans uh, they play in. Oh, shot. Oh, a shot. Applause from Lamb at the non strikers end. Muted applause, I suspect, from the bowler. But that was a glorious strike. You know, a bowler likes to be driven straight back past him. A couple of days, no ex exception. And this was a cracking shot from Graham Gooch. Or fetch him. This is exactly what he did. Really Gucci shot selection now, and that's six or four. Dickie's looking, decides it's four. Well, he's fetched it from right outside off stump. He's a powerful lad, hit straight across the line, full of confidence, right in the meat of the bat, and it's sailed away. But I'm afraid he's come in with the batsman now in prime form, and that's Graham Gucci's 150. And what a thumping way to get it. Yes, it doesn't matter who bowls when a batsman's got into this kind of form. That was only just short of a length, and Gooch really hammered it away through the catches. Tremendous blow, lovely footwork. Six runs over extra cover.
Well, there's nothing much that uh, the bowler could do about that. That was a good delivery. Pitched about off stump, straighten. Gilch going down the wicket, made room for himself and hit the ball straight over ec extra cover for six. That's a beautiful stroke. Ninety-eight for Gooch. No third man. Highest test score for Graham Gooch, beating his previous best of 196 against Australia. The ball is going to race away from uh, Sidhu. He'll just get it inside the ropes. And Gooch will go on to a double century. It's a lovely innings. I can't recall having seen him play better in uh, any test match. It's a truly magnificent innings by uh, Graham Gooch. He's made the most of that dropped catch by Kiran Mori. And of course, the opportunity he got of batting first on this track. as good a stroke as he's played. Can't have it hit much straighter than that. And the timing must have been close to perfect. Brilliant shot. Oh, dear me. Shot of the whole morning. Not really a half volley. The way Gooch is batting, it does look as if Gary Sobers's mark of 365 is in some danger. He's got all the time in the world to do it. Good out there on the boundary at uh, square point. But, uh, had just a little trouble getting down for that. He hit with great power. Uh, not sure that uh, the full bend was implemented there. A lovely shot once again. 226 for Gooch now. Cracking shot. None better than that, though. Beautiful and classical cover drive from Graham Gooch, whose 250 comes up. 252. Magnificent shot and uh, very well hit as well. Stepped down the track and hit it just wide of Azar's right and Manoj Prabhakar's left at long off. Gooch with the first ball after tee bowled by Ravi Shastri. 66 to go. Four hundred and fifty-four balls. Five ninety-eight minutes. Two sixes and forty fours. Wonderful innings. Ravi Shastri is the bowler. Four more to Gooch. I think he's more interested now in uh, pushing the score on as quick as possible. Maybe having a chance of bowling for an hour at the Indians tonight. Don't bother looking for that, let alone chasing it. It's gone up into the building works. a tremendous blow. I think he'd actually found the gap in the building works there, but it was a huge six. It's a big boundary down that end, and he hit that really in the middle. Is it or isn't it? It is. That is four. Wasn't the most athletic piece of fielding. The ball was hit hard. 
beautiful timing over there. And even a fielder as good as Kapil Dev couldn't quite stop that boundary. Got him. Probably gone inside edge. Success finally. Gooch goes. 333. Triple Nelson, if you want to be superstitious about it. Uh, what a reception this man's going to get. The leader of his side, the Indian players applauding. Almost glad to be part of history, those men on the balcony certainly are. So is the crowd. Never before will Graham Gooch have left a field to this sort of reception. Marvellous innings, just over ten and a half hours, 333.